Hi everyone, I'm Eileen DePaula with Cornell Cooperative Extension, Rensselaer County Forage Youth Development. And today on our Farm to Table virtual series, we're going to make homemade granola. This is something that makes a great gift for anyone and it's a really yummy snack. To begin, you want to make sure your hands are nice and clean, so give them a good wash and then come on back to the kitchen. Now to start, we'll want to preheat our oven to 275 degrees. If you're one of our younger members, you definitely want to make sure you have an adult do that for you. But this is a project that any age can do. There's a lot of measuring and a lot of fun stuff that we can do. So this recipe calls for three cups of uncooked oats. I use the old fashioned oats here. And also one cup of wheat germ, which I have mixed in. Then we need one half cup of flake coconut and a half a cup of shelled sunflower seeds, and then a cup of chopped nuts, either walnuts, pecans, or almonds, whatever you like. So we're gonna add those all in. We're gonna mix this up before we add our wet ingredients. Now we're going to take one quarter cup of vegetable oil, a quarter cup of honey, and two teaspoons of vanilla or almond extract. I use vanilla today. And we're gonna pour that in. Make sure we get it all in there. And this is one of these great recipes. When it's cooking, your house will smell just awesome. Just gonna smell really, really yummy. Now, we're going to make take our spatula and we wanna make sure we get that honey and oil mixture. All over. We want to make sure we coat the oats really well in the coconut. And if you have somebody in your house that can't have nuts, or you're going to give this to somebody as a gift and you're not sure, you don't have to put them in. This is also one of those great recipes that you can adapt to your own taste. Also, you can add some other um, flavors to it. You can maybe put some cinnamon or nutmeg or pumpkin pie spice flavoring in. So when this is all pretty well coated, we're going to take this and put it on a baking sheet. I put a little bit of nonstick cooking spray on my baking sheet just so it didn't stick. You'll put it in your oven for one hour. Now what's really important is to make sure that you stir it every 15 minutes so it doesn't stick and also it doesn't get too brown. After an hour, you'll take your baking sheet out of the oven and put it on a cooling rack. Again, if you're one of our younger members, you'll want to have an adult help you out with that. After it cool, And while it's cooling, you want to make sure that you break up any of the large chunks. After it's cool, you can put it in a container. Mason jars work great for this. And if you're giving it as a gift, you can put a piece of fabric on the top, put a ribbon on it, and you've got a wonderful gift to give somebody. It's important to make sure you put this in something that is airtight. Also, if you'd like to add some dry fruit to it after you're done baking, um, maybe some cranberries or raisins, that's fine also, whatever you like. Again, like I said, this is one of those recipes that you can adapt a lot of different ways and have a lot of fun with it. You can experiment with it. I am so glad that you were able to join me today in the kitchen. I hope you have a lot of fun in the kitchen. Thank you, and until next time, take care.